Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back to do this week's budget review along with the cash stuffing envelopes and next week's budget. So before we get started, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers and if you are an old subscriber, welcome back. Hey guys. So we're gonna do the budget from August the 30th through September the 5th. As you all know, we went to Dallas, Texas for my husband to meet up with three of his army buddies and their wives. So we really had a good time. Some of that vacation will reflect in this spending this week. In the expense category, I had budgeted $504.73 for the phone bill, $369.89 for the car payment, $136.50 for the chiropractor, and $50 for the gym fee. That came up to $1,061.12. In the actual, I spent $505.17 for the phone bill, which was an overage of 44 cents. $369.89 for the car payment, $136.50 for the chiropractor, and $50 for the gym fee. Now, if you look on the side, and I'm sorry if you can't see it, I have Squarespace on here. It was my annual renewal and I completely forgot about it, so the $20 came out of my account. So that was an overage of $20. So the actual total was $1,081.56, which was an overage of $20.44. For the cash envelopes, I had budgeted $75 for groceries, $100 for lunch, $250 for gas, $40 for eating out, $40 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to a total of $555. In the actual category, I spent $75 on groceries. Some of this money went toward the Airbnb because we did buy a few groceries there. $97 in lunch money, which was a difference of $3. $250 in gas. $33 in eating out, which was a difference of $7. Spent $20 in personal, which was a difference of $20. We did not spend anything in miscellaneous, so that left $20, and we did not spend anything in household, so that left $20. The total actual category came up to $475, and we saved $70. In my income versus my expenses, I estimated my income to be $1,635.53, minus the expenses of $1,061.13, and minus the cash envelopes of $545. That left a difference of $29.40. In the actual category, our income was $1,635.90, which was a difference of 37 cents, minus the expenses of $1,081.56, which was a difference of $20.43, and minus the cash envelopes of $475, which was a difference of $70. Our actual balance was $79.34. We saved $49.94 this week and that was because of the overage of the $20.43. Now for our budget for September the 6th through the 12th. In the budgeted category, I budgeted $243.44 for Huntsville Utilities, $16 for my blog fee, and $127 for my personal loan. That came up to $386.44. In the cash envelopes, I budgeted $75 for groceries, $100 for lunch, $70 for gas, $65 for eating out, $40 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to a total of $390. I expect my income to be $972.55 minus the expenses of $386.44 and minus the cash envelopes of $390. That's going to leave a balance of $196.11 and that's going to be rolled over for bills for uh, the rest of the month. Now we will go over our cash envelopes and anything that I may have saved. So I'm going to take my envelopes out the money I got from the bank and the money that I saved. We will be filling the eating out envelope, the household envelope, and the miscellaneous envelope. So in lunch I saved three dollars and in my personal I saved twenty dollars. We saved twenty dollars in the miscellaneous envelope. Twenty dollars in the household envelope. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the eating out envelope. 
so we'll put that to the side until we're ready for it. Guys, if you notice, I got a new surface, a new table surface. Um, next week, hopefully my mat will be in. Um, I got a mat to go over it to make it pop a little bit. I went to the bank and got the money. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, five. We will be putting 65 in the eating out envelope. 20, 40, 60, five. We will be putting 20 in the household envelope. 10, 20. And we will be putting 20 in the miscellaneous. For my husband's lunch, I'm gonna give him 20, 40, 60. For mine, 20, 40. And for my husband's personal, I'm gonna give him 20. And for me, I'm gonna give myself 20. So I'm going to return my money to my wallet. I'm going to return the cash envelopes to my wallet. And I'm going to put my husband's money in my wallet until I'm ready to give it to him this afternoon. Now let's see what we saved. In pennies, we saved 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 cents in pennies. I saved a dollar, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in dimes, in nickels. I say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 cents in nickels. And I saved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 in quarters. So in change this week, I saved $8.20. And in bills, I saved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, $10 in ones and $60 in 20s. So that was $70. The total that I saved this week was $78.20. So as you know, we're starting over. So I'm going to put the pennies in the penny jar. I'm going to put the silver coins in the silver coin jar. I'm going to put the ones in the dollar jar. And I'm going to put the 20s in the 5s, 10s, and 20s jar. Now, as you know, we had $815 when we started out at vacation. Let's see if we saved anything. So we saved 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm going to leave this in this envelope because we have two vacations that we got to save up for. We have one for next year where we're supposed to be going to Panama City with my sister and nieces and my family. And we have one where we decided when we all the army buddies um, we decided that in 2024, we are going to go to Hawaii. So I got to save up for the trip for Hawaii and the plane tickets alone for me and my husband are a thousand dollars. So that's not including, um, the Hawaii trip. So we've got a lot of saving to do. And that's one of the reasons why we pushed it back so far. But that is all for this video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so that you will be notified next time I upload a video. And let's start on this challenge again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.